Hi, in this lesson, we are going to go through some basic things about um, geometry, which is basically your triangles and some four-sided figures uh, like squares and rectangles. So we'll be going through the, the uh, properties and then after this, we will look at some sample questions. So if you take a look at a basic triangle, uh, there's three angles to a triangle, angle A, angle B, and angle C. And when you add up all the three angles together, you get 180 degrees. So that's one of the basic properties of a triangle. Now, if you have a right angle triangle, right angle basically means that this angle is equals to 90 degrees. So if angle ABC is 90 degrees, Therefore, A and C, angle A and angle C, is uh, 180 degrees minus away 90 degrees minus away. Let's say you want to find angle C. All right, so C equals to 180 minus 90 minus angle A. So that's how you find angle C. And likewise, if you want to find angle uh, A, is equals to 180 minus 90 minus away angle C. Uh, that's how you find angle C. Angle A, I mean. So an isosceles triangle, all right, it's a big word, uh, but what it basically means is there are two equal sides. So DE, which is DE, is equals to DF. So when I say equal, what it means is that these two angles are equal and the length of these two sides are also equal. All right, so that makes a an isosceles triangle. So this is not, this usually is not equal. So if it's equal, there's another name for it. So this is not equal to this. So let's say if angle D E F is equals to 40 degrees, therefore it is also equals to angle D F E, which is also 40 degrees. And therefore, angle E, D, F equals to 180 minus 40 minus 40 equals 100 degrees. All right, so that's how you use an isosceles triangle. Next, let's look at an equilateral triangle. There are three equal sides. So angle M, L and angle L, N and angle M, N are all equal. They are equal in length and therefore the three angles here are also equal and they are all 60 degrees. So angle L equals to angle N equals to angle M equals to 60 degrees. And the distance, the length of LM is equals to the length of mn equals to nl. So if this is 2cm, then all of them are equals to 2cm. And all the angles are also equal. So there's, these are the three uh, triangles that you need to know for P6. This equilateral triangle, the isosceles triangle, and a right angle triangle, and just a general triangle where everything adds up to 180 degrees. So now let's look at four-sided figures. The most basic one is we have a square. So a square, all four sides are equal, which is this AB. So by equal, I draw this line. AB equals to BC equals to CD equals to AD. So let's say if I say one side is equals to phi CM, then everything will be equals to five CM. Now, opposite sides are parallel. So what does that mean? It means that the lines are parallel to each other and they will never meet. And these two lines are parallel to each other. Okay, uh, All four angles are right angles. So this is equals to 90 degrees. This is equals to 90 degrees. This is also equals to 90 degrees. And this is equals to 90 degrees. So all of them are equals to 90 degrees. So for a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. So RS is equals to UT. And ST equals to ST equals to RU. So if this is 5CM, 
this is also 5 cm and if this is 2 cm this is also 2 cm all right opposite sides are parallel as well so this is parallel to this side and this is parallel to this side all four angles are right angle these are all 90 degree angles now let's look at a parallelogram so for a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel let's make it a little bit bigger opposite sides are parallel so that means rq is parallel this parallel to ps and pq is parallel to sr opposite sides are equal so this length is equals to this length this length is equals to this length opposite angles are equal angle p equals to angle r angle p equals to angle r so if angle p is equals to 60 a eh, no cannot be uh if angle p equals to 100 degrees then angle r is also equals to 100 degrees and if angle s equals to 80 degrees then this is also equals to 80 degrees so opposite angles are equal and sum of two angles sum of angles between two parallel sides is equals to 180 so that therefore angle p plus angle s equals to 180 degrees and if you note here it's 100 plus 80 so it's 180 degrees and angle q plus angle r angle q plus angle r equals to 100 plus 80 equals to 180 degrees so let's look at a rhombus or so a rhombus all four sides are equal the difference between a rhombus and a parallelogram is that parallelogram opposite sides are equal all right so if this is 5 cm this is also 5 cm and if it's, this is 2 cm this is 2 cm but for a rhombus, it's a bit different. If this is 5 cm, this is also 5 cm, and this is also 5 cm, and this is also 5 cm. So okay, all four sides are equal. Opposite sides are parallel. So this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. Opposite angles are equal. So angle K angle k so if angle k is uh let's say 100 degrees angle k equals to 100 degrees equals to angle m and if this is 80 degrees so angle n equals to 80 degrees equals to angle i all right and this two k and n when they add up so angle k plus angle n equals to 180 okay let's see so 100 degrees plus 80 equals to 180 degrees all right so sum of the angles between two parallel sides is equals to 180 so that's how this thing works so for a trapezium uh, only one parallel side which is this one the other one is not parallel all right so wx is parallel to zy sum of angles between two parallel sides so angle w plus angle z is 180 so likewise again angle w is 100 and angle z is 80 then angle w is equals to angle y equals to 100 uh, wait that's wrong so let's scratch that so it's angle w plus angle z equals to 180 degrees and let's say angle x is 110 degrees then therefore this must be a uh, 70 degrees okay so angle x plus angle y equals to 110 plus 70 equals to 180 degrees all right so basically the uh, opposite 
must add up to 180 uh, and these two sides are parallel.